tune in, tell a friend, the Playboy Comedy, Mr. Trey Love is in, a.k.a. Lewis Smith, the man with the gift, and it ain't no myth. You understand me? Welcome to another episode of Daily Dad Tips. Man, I got a good one for you today. Check this out. You got to teach people how to treat you. Huh. Let's go. I'm not a doormat. I'm not here for you to abuse. I'm not here for you to take your bad day, your bad week, your bad month, your bad life out on. Just because you mad, that don't give you permission to take your anger out on me. I refuse to accept it. I don't deserve to be abused by you. Hmm. See, a lot of us have what's called childhood trauma. Things that happen in our childhood that we haven't been counseled for, that we haven't been to therapy for. We haven't developed maturity. We think that we get results by yelling at people. We think that we achieve results by intimidation. So therefore, we don't grasp how to really treat people sometimes. And you, the person may not even be being abusive on purpose. Nonetheless, they're not on the receiving end of their behavior. You are. So you have to teach people how to treat you. Let me give you an example of something that happened between me and one of my children. She was young at the time, and I don't even remember exactly what she was doing. She was doing something really basic, playing with some toys or something, and I don't even remember what I said to her. It, it didn't really seem that significant. You know, it, it could have been something really simple like, hey, why are you doing this or why are you doing that? And I'll never forget, she turned around and she she yelled. She was just like, dang, I saw and so and so. Now, you do know I'm old school, right? So, as you can imagine, initially her yelling at me sparked something like, I slap, I, who the Say it again. Say it one more time. I'll knock. You see this? I'll put this cross your lip. <laughs> that is not at all how I handled the situation. I want you all to remember this. I'm going to make a video about it as well. We cannot raise our children in this day and age the way we were raised back in our day. This ain't the 70s. This ain't the 80s. This ain't the 90s. This is the 20s of 2000s, okay? There are different laws. There's different things. The reality is we can't raise our kids the way our parents raised us, so don't try. However, you can discipline your children. And let me uh, express to you how the situation went down. So once this little N-word yelled at me, I was calm, cool, and collected, y'all. You should have seen me. I got her like this. I said, uh, I said, excuse me, young lady. Stop what you're doing and come here. I need to talk to you. She came over. She sat down, and I looked her square in the eyes, and I said, now let me ask you a question. Have I ever yelled at you? She said that. She knew she was in trouble. She was like, no. I said, well, what in the Sam Hill? See, that's old school. For those of you that don't know, I'm teaching y'all some old school game. I said, what in the Sam Hill made you think that you could yell at me? She's a kid. So she goes, I don't know. I said, okay. 
I said, okay, let's 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 get something something straight right here, right now. I've never yelled at you, so don't you ever, as long as your behind is black and breathing, yell at me. I don't tolerate that. I don't know what you're doing in your mama house. I don't know if you all yell back and forth with each other. That's not my business. But I promise you something you will never do again. And that is yell at your father. No matter what you have to talk about, no matter what you have to discuss with me, you can discuss it at a respectful tone. You can say what you need to say to me at a respectful tone. But young lady, I promise you, if you ever, long as you black and breathing, yell at me again, it is not going to work out for you. I am the parent and I assure you, I can make your life pretty miserable. I make sure you got food. I make sure you got clothes. I take care of you. I love you. I treat you like a princess. For you to raise your voice at me. Don't you ever again do that. Okay. Y'all, I promise you. I BS you not. From that day to this one, that girl has never raised a voice at me. Nor has she raised a voice around me. She is actually a very respectful and wonderful, pleasant child. Did you hear what I said? Pleasant child. I take her places. People meet. Oh, this, uh, the baby's so well behaved. Yeah, because they know better. I didn't have to yell, scream. I didn't have to threaten them. Well, maybe a little threat, but enough of a threat to let them know that what you're doing is wrong and you're disrespecting me and you're disrespecting yourself. We're a family. Look how you making me look. Look how you making us look. Don't ever do that again. It's all part of, of parenting, y'all. We got to parent these kids, you know? Needless to say, I, I nipped that in the bud real quick. Real quick. Uh, when it comes to how people treat you, let's talk about dating. Let's talk about <laughs> women. I'm going to say this, ladies, and I know what what a lot of ladies like to say. Oh, it's not me. I'm not talking to you specifically, but if the shoe fits, wear it. But most of the women I, I've dated, I guess, you know, like my cousin say, what women you picking? I guess I picked the wrong women. I date a whole bunch of black women. So I guess I'm always picking the wrong one. I guess it's me. But women play mind games. Women like to play a lot of mind games. Especially when you are where I'm at in the dating pool. I'm honest. There's no need to lie. We're dating. We're having fun. We drink. We kick it. You know, if you decide to get naked for me, cool. If you don't get naked for me, that's cool, too. I can either take it or leave it. I'm not going to force nothing. Women control sex. Period. Point blank. But if you choose to give it to me, I'm going to take it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to take it. I'm going to get you naked. We're going to have a little fun. But at the same time, if you choose not to, that's fine. But what women don't like is a powerful man, a man who is really not flustered. Stuff doesn't bother him. You know, the kind of women that be like, you know, the kind of women that be like, um, yeah, uh, I'm about to pick my friend up from the airport. Now, me and you screwing around, right? You would expect me. To you, you said you're picking your friend up from the airport because what you want is for me to say, "Who you picking up from the airport?" Instead of saying, and then you, and then they go, "I'm just picking up my girlfriend." God, you ain't got to be so insecure. You thinking about it? You worried about it? You know, I kind of like you a little bit. You know, we doing our thing. Why come you couldn't just say, "Hey, I'm picking uh, uh, Tanya up from the airport," or "I'm picking Gina up from the airport," "I'm picking my friend up from the airport." Or like this one chick pulled this one on me one time. She was like, uh, I'm going to um I'm going to Vegas for the weekend. I was like, okay. And I'm sitting in my mind like, you going to Vegas by yourself, but I didn't bother to ask her. Then later on, you know, I was talking to uh her son, you know, because again, I'm an older man, so I date older women with older kids. So her son was like, yeah, mom, you know, you're going to be ready uh, uh, for Vegas. And I sat there and I was like, 
oh, that's who you going to Vegas with? And she started laughing. Even her son was like, because her son knew that me and his mom was messing around. So he was like, dang, mom, you couldn't just tell him you was going to Vegas? That's cold. Even he realized that it was mind games. So, fellas, be mindful of the mind games and teach women how to treat you and, and tell them straight up. Like, if you're going to play the mind games, then I'm going to let you know your feelings going to be hurt because I'm not going to question you about a damn thing. I'm not going to worry about what you're doing. Matter of fact, I'm going to play mind games too, but I'm going to do mine a little different. You're just going to be wondering where I'm at. Hmm. Man, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you are familiar with these topics and, you know, you had issues where you've had to teach people how to treat you, you've had to address your children or address somebody in your family about the boundaries that you had set, please comment because I'd like to have some interaction with you, all right? So make sure you click like, click share, subscribe, share this video with somebody that might need to see it, all right? Man, this has been your daily dad tip. <laughs> Y'all better get some.